Are you feeling lonely right now and you feel like you have no friends? That can definitely stink. But by the end of this video, you're going to overcome your feeling of loneliness, even if you don't have friends, with these five tips that I share with you. Let's go. What's up, viewer? It's your boy, Emmanuel with an I. And if this is your first time on my page, I have tons of motivational videos and life advice. If those things interest you, then hit that subscribe button right now to help yourself grow in your personal life. All right, let's get into it. The first way to overcome loneliness, even if you don't have friends, is to truly process your feelings. Sometimes we feel alone and we just feel alone without actually sitting down in that emotion. Yes, the feeling sucks. Why would you want to sit down and focus on it even more? When you actually sit down alone in your room and you feel the pain in your stomach, the lump in your throat, the tightness in your chest of loneliness, you start to understand your feelings. And by the way, if you feel like you need to cry, cry, it's completely okay. When you do this, you finally understand your feelings and you can start with these next five tips. Now I'm not saying dwell on the problem, but understand your emotions so these next five tips actually help you out. The second tip on overcoming your feeling of loneliness is to focus on your short-term and long-term goals. You're probably thinking to yourself, how is this actually gonna help me out? A lot of the times when we feel alone, at least for myself, I feel like I have nothing better to do than to sit on the couch, watch Netflix, play video games, and do nothing with my life for hours and hours, days and days, weeks and weeks, a long period of time. So in order to get out of that repetitive cycle, take out a sheet of paper and write down some short-term goals and long-term goals that you can focus on every single day. Now, if you feel like you don't have any goals and you don't know what your passion is, I'm going to link up to a video that I made right now that you can click to help you find your passion this year. But in the end, when you have something that you can work on daily and your focus is on a positive thing in the future that you can, again, work on daily, it'll take you out of that feeling of loneliness because you know to yourself, I am working towards something. I am doing something important instead of feeling like I'm alone and sitting here by myself and have nothing to do better with my life. The third tip I have for you is to literally go out and do the activities that you enjoy. There's like this thing in our culture that tells us that we're not supposed to be able to do things by ourselves. That doesn't make any sense. You don't have to have somebody else in order to go to the movies, restaurant, watch your favorite bands play, work out, do different activities. Yes, you may want somebody to go with you because you feel like it won't be as fun or you won't have such a good experience or it's just awkward doing it by yourself. But trust me, when you go out and start doing activities more often by yourself, you realize how much this world has to offer. It is so much fun. You can still enjoy that yummy food and watch that awesome movie. You don't need somebody else. And the more you do this, again, you're gonna feel less lonely because you're like, yo, I'm living life right now to the fullest. The fourth tip I have for you is one of my favorites. Go out and pamper yourself, man. Pamper yourself, get that manicure, pedicure, get your hair did, go to the mall, buy yourself some new clothes. It feels good. And you can't tell me that doing those activities for yourself and by yourself afterwards won't make you feel good. Oh, it feels good every single time. I know right now you feel like you don't have that motivation to do this, but for yourself and for me, reward yourself by getting outside your house, getting outside your apartment, your dorm, wherever you're at, and treat yourself to a new outfit, shoes, a manicure, pedicure, buying a video game, buying something that you really want. Reward yourself. Do this more often, you'll become less lonely. The fifth tip I have for you to overcome your loneliness, even if you don't have friends, is to exercise regularly. Now, I know that some of you, when you hear this, you're thinking to yourself that you hate exercising, you have no motivation to do it, why would this help me out? Without breaking it down too much, the healthier you are, the healthier and more positive your mind is. Actually think of it this way. If you're feeling mad, sad, lonely, or even depressed, you can go working out and exert all of your anger and sadness on those weights. Literally change your negative emotions into a positive outlet for yourself. If you still feel like you have zero motivation, I'm going to link up to a live stream that I did in the past talking about overcoming laziness and lack of motivation. Click it right now and get motivated. The sixth tip I have for you, if after you try those five tips that I just shared with you, they don't work, go talk to a professional counselor. There's a stigma behind this and I hate that stigma because why would we not seek help from a professional that will help us out? If you're worried about what other people will think of you if you go see a counselor, ask yourself this question. Is the opinions of others more important than my own happiness? Um, hell no. So please, if you tried those five other tips and they did not help, Go seek a counselor. Trust me, it will help. If you like this video and it helped you out, you see that flashing icon, hover over it and hit that subscribe button because I have tons of other videos that will help you out. All right, as I always say, 
Do you stay swagalicious and keep smiling. Peace.